Okay. It's a little longer than five minutes, but I try to speed it up. Yeah. So let's see okay. how it works. Okay. Ready? I'll I'll open it. Uh, you could share your computer sound so that you click on the options and then they will have like share computer sound or share sounds that would be that would be great for the audios. Share sound. Again. Hello, friends. That's better. Can you hear? Okay. Um, today I will talk about the decode of Changpe Monument, which is my um, sculptures, my architecture that I choose to analyze about. So first is Changpe areas. Quick fact, quick um, understanding about Changpe areas is like at the north of um, of Chiang Mai. It's also uh, a large district that is like it's also like a way to go out to the suburb of Chiang Mai. It's also another way to get in to the main city of Chiang Mai as well. So as you can see in this map, it's like a zoom in map of some nearby uh, architecture that is next to my monument. So here is um, uh, 7-Eleven and it is next to here. Um, the, the first bus terminal, Changpuak terminal, and this is the Changpuak monument. And I did a little a bit of background and context of um, white elephant on the pre-presentation last time, so I'm not going to talk about it today. But to summarize, uh, uh, white elephants or elephant in general has a lot of parts in Thailand. It, it has high values and therefore it is a symbol of um, dignity and it has good meanings with it. So it has been used widely in things as a representative of Thailand. So about the monument, this is the side view from the Google Maps. As you can see, it's like it's situated in in a plaza in a road island. And on the side, it's a tree and a small um, sitting areas for um, provided like a park kind of like and the road surrounded by and that's the bus terminal behind it so this is a picture of how people interacting with the um Changpeng monument and their behavior in terms of cultural and beliefs like Changpeng monument is a monument to kind of like um to give the people believe that this is this is a, a big thing and it's like people bring food people bring flower people bring a lot of things to this uh, monument and pray. This is another picture. They have like a big event there as well, an important day of like in, in the Buddhist way, the Buddhist day. And this is the picture of it now. And I'm gonna like I'm gonna analyze the physicality of um, Changpuak monument. First, you can see that top. The top is barrier vault, which is like very similar to Roman um, barrier vault. On the left here, you can see the top is crowned and attached by the hinge, and then spring at the bottom. However, Thai architecture also has similar um, elements. But here are some sketches that are um, like the arg of Thai decorations, um, which are called like the snakes or something, the big snakes. And as you can see, that like. The, the, the head of the top rope has some kind of decoration out here, which I think are from Lai Thai. And these patterns are like the traditional patterns of Thailand. And you can see the, the, uh, the details of the column and on the side and also on the, on the front hinge. So this is what I mean by, by like the uses of that architecture in, in like religious architecture like um temple praying hall this is a uh, white white temple in Chiang Rai. the color of white also has been used quite a lot lately in terms of like adapt to modern 
modern styles and becoming like Thai contemporary style. And so you can see that the materials in, in this ornament has first the, the tiles, the brick tiles, very Lana style and concrete with white. And then brick is used on the front, which is like the entrance. And this materials kind of give you some time. Brick is like one of the elements that Lana people use a lot, but concrete and white architecture and the styles that they um, kind of like created in this uh, in this monument kind of like change the idea of like the perception of what is old because the story of Chang Puyuk and the story of the district has all has existed for hundreds of years, but now the architecture and and the stories have to adapt to the new settings of modern living and urban changes. This is the details of the column. Of this one, it is more technical in terms of like design and how it has linked to Thai um, Thai architect. So in Thai architect, this will be used mostly in like a religious column, in temples and things like that. And this is also, um, this in Thai is called Chofa. In English, I'm not quite sure what it means, but it uses on the head as well to give it kind of like uh, beauty and decoration. And this is um, the details of um, which part is being pushed in and out. Um, this part of the architecture of Thailand, they call it Bua, which means um, in English, uh, it's a flower. So you can flip it up and down. So as you can see in this one, it's flipping up and down. So the two paddle meets together. And here is the, 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 the details of um, here, the ladder here. And this is also the details of the outside layer, which shows that it is a part of Thai architecture, but in terms of shades and um, color, it is more adaptive to uh, the, the modern contemporary time now. And also the column is similar. This is a comparison between Thai columns and Roman columns. Like you can see the difference that Thai has more pointy um, figures, but but now you can see in in in, in the monument they, they don't really they cut up that part off and just stick with like the ladders and less elements. And so this is the map showing you so this is the monument. So this is all the surrounding environments. So in terms of articulation and movement flow of the space, people here are very, uh, uh, I would say like the flow is pretty standard. People move around, people, there's a school nearby, there's a market, and there's a store, people sell stuff. So the residential part and the community here is quite strong. And the connection with the land, I think, they they had a strong connection in terms of uh, district community living together and the land that the site provided is also I think very fitted because it's like it's a park and monument so people can come and like enjoy the the usage of the land and lastly in terms of visual perception you can see this is the texture of the old one and the new one the old one is also made from concrete, but because of raining, because of moisture, it creates like uh, dark spots. And that gives out like dirty or um, un not respects, something like that. So I think they change it to plain white, make it clean to respect the, the elephant that's inside the history. But in terms of the old atmosphere, like this atmosphere might scare people, might not want people to come inside or might not blend it with the exterior, which is like the car, the bicycle, the building surrounding it is now like um, changed to a more modern contemporary way. So this also will have to change. And it did change to a more, um, to a white, uh, uh, two separate um, monument for each elephant and it is more um, Thai contemporary mixed use between the two culture and the texture has been removed and all the dirty the gross stuff on the wall has been repainted to white because white has now can signify like clean polish and 
it gives out a nice effect when it bounces the light. Overall, the park and the monument blend together with people. You can see that there's people here. They sit next to the monument and um, the park providing a space for people to hang around, a sense of belonging in, in the city. They don't feel too separated or they don't feel like too close to the monument. And this is also a way to like show and bring in like historical um, elements. Like how can you adapt modern people, modern teenager to an old history, an old beliefs or like um, old architecture, but you have to merge the two together, find the middle ground and then um, create a sense of belonging. So overall, I think this, this monument and the space it created, it gives out a really strong visual in terms of sense of belonging and it is the landmark of the city. So that's it for me, thank you. Um, that's nice that you solve the problem by making like two expedit and um, that's okay. I think you, you, you have done a, a study a lot, but I have just um, two questions, like not two questions, but two, two things to talk with you. Like the first thing is uh, for about the physical data, right? What do you think? Like this is more Thai, modern Thai or more modern Lana in your opinion? I think it is more modern Lana, yes. Mm, why? Why you think it's more modern Lana than modern Thai? Um, because of like the materials and the colors, like I've mm. seen Lana styles, they use this kind of um, flooring system and also mm. like the head of the shape of mm. the paddles decoration. Similar to Gala, where people mm -hmm. use it at like uh, residential construction, but but it simplify a lot of Thai decoration elements into like a simpler ways, mm -hmm. which I think, in my opinion, I see it as a Lana elements, but maybe it's also different for other people. Yeah, but I I couldn't agree more. It is so Lana style. But one thing that we can perceive what is Lana or what is Siam or what is Thai is scale, the scale of building, right? Lana's, Lana people is smaller than, than uh, Siam people for sure. And then the proportion of things for as the Lana kingdom is pretty small, the scale is related to human more. And zoom in to the decoration, decorative design. This is not really much about center Thai design but the small element is elemented influence from Lana culture for sure. That you can see as like this is an old pictures of uh, Chang Puyak monument when they didn't renovate it, right? As you can see, the, 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 the building, the decoration, the architecture is still the same, but they make it clean, but they change at the boundary, the area of it. In your opinion, Pim, I have the question number two, the other thing I would like to talk with you number two is, do you think this is a plaza or square? Um, it could be, it looked like a square because mm -hmm. everything is like surrounded, the road and like the circulation path mm -hmm. kind of revolves around the, the monument and like mm -hmm. the island there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, uh, I think I, I, I see it as a square. Yeah, um, yeah, that could be a square as well, but the difference between plaza and square, right? Plaza is just like an open land. It could be any places, but it's open for connecting. But square, you just put out something and then make it like an, as a open spaces. So I think the design, they design as a plaza and connect all of the road to uh, biting to this place. But sadly, right, uh, an old, an older period of the old time, we get in to the city by this part, 
but once we modernize this country, this this city, this is like the way that you drive past, pass by, and you get out. So this land, which is should be the landmark, this become the place that people never notice. The land that we just uh take a back on, we never see this land. So this become maybe it could be it could be called square. I don't know, but it's just open area, not have the concept of plaza because they never connect activities, <coughs> and that's why right now people are just abandon it. Many uh, homeless still living it. Some people just made everything just go by, but the design that you just shown for the last pictures, the design of the plaza, they're making a garden design on it, which is um strange because the way that they put the tree, the way that they put the furniture, street furniture, never related to the city, never related to the monument. So that's why the 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 main function of this place is so confused. What is this for? It could be landmark, but no one would see. It could be the, the plaza, but no main activity on it. It could be a garden, but the garden never green enough to people can jump in. So this is the problem of, of the Thai design right now. You have to understand the history. You have to understand and improve by contemporary design, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it that I want to talk to you, but thank you for your words. Thank yes, you. Great. Think, well. Yeah, I hope you can learn more about my, my class. Yep. Yeah. Okay, move to another team who want to present. It could be team, right? Which team are complete right now? Like who's in Shang Moi and want to present? I think Shang Moi is ready, right? Yo, yo. Cherry Castell, Zoe, our team, Sandy Town, would like to present. Um, I don't know, I think, okay. Oh. Yeah, just go ahead, Cherry. Hi, my name is Cherry. I'm going to start my final assignment to code on architecture. The first topic is architecture as physical design. So the place that I choose, which is the lower market in Chamoy area. So from the space organization, we can know that it makes to P River and is benefit for business, especially at the past and in the history. Um, we can see there, um, there is a very open space, so we also can call it like freeform pattern. And we will also can see that there is a field at the past, so there are spacious and the narrow land at the same time. This is development of architectures in Malolo market from different players. So the first one, which is earlier got the one, and it's only one story building and it's kind of like landmark style. Next is earlier Chinese. So the Chinese businessmen, they come here, bring some um, Chinese elements and combine with landmark design elements. Next is late Chinese. So from picture, we can see there are some patterns on the railing. So there are more and more decorations like appear on the architecture. Next is late colony. And now we can see there are roof on the top become two three stories building. And next is modernism. So it's become two five stories. And the, both of them are with the geometric design or we call it Shanghai plaster wall. And nowadays what we can see in Wallalo market is these two, like most of them are these two kind of buildings. So there are three kind of like uh, different areas in Wallalo market. So the first is Pin River side area. There is a very big entrance and just next to the Ping River and there are like rest area and car dropping area. Next is the um, Gengrang area. 
and there's a very big road which is much bigger than the regular road and there are more functional space or even like at the active days or festival days you're gonna have a stage and next which is at the area the road is very small and those side the stores just like beside of the road so this is some pictures of like different three areas in Gaoluan. Uh, next topic, which is architecture space as social practice. Um, the example that I take here, which is um, still coffee and life. Um, this coffee shop, which is located inside of the Wallowa market is the red area that I um, point in the um, plan, the map. Um, so why I chose this cafe? It on um, the six floors of Wallowa shopping center in Gaoluang um, in Wallowa market and like nowadays um, they still use this building for a shopping center so you can see if you want to go to coffee you need to pass like five buildings like downstairs so nowadays they sell some like the sports things or some like pillows or um, there are many like stores to sell the uniform or the stores um, and also, I think a lot of people, they like to come here because the price is quite like, cheaper, than, cheaper than outside. This is some photos from the coffee shop inside of it, the interior. And they don't like, to, and they didn't like decorate it too much. They just put some like um, tables, chairs, like have the modernism style of it. And I think another good thing of this area, um, this coffee shop, which is window of it so from this picture we see they have a very long and big windows so we can see the outside so from this picture we can see we see from the top to uh, we can see many many like um, buildings just in Chiang some like a one the modernism one or the contemporary one and see how about the uh, buildings the styles of that area and from this side we can see some like the roof which have very like strong feeling of the lana style and or the modern some style buildings or even far you can see some like the contemporary architecture like the hotel and some like religious place like the temple or the blue square and so i think this area this uh, Changmoy area which is quite the, like important because i think many people they just like um come to this place to have a very like um, more functional like community and this cafe I think is also like achieve like the young people they like to come here and when they pass to this building they can see how local people or old people they how about their life their lifestyle to have a new experience in in the old place thank you Oh, that's great. I, I really like your, your study about the history of the building there. And and as we can see, like the, the develop of the building from like early Chinese to the colony to the modern is really the story on the uh, Shangmoy district. So strong. But I have two things to mention to you, Sherry. The first thing is on the physical design, right? Uh, I the old building but they change the color they change the vibe of the of the supermarket of the of the department store to become something that still clean when um concrete white why what do you think like how how, how they change it why they change it um i think like um, what I show the development of the architecture right? and mm -hmm. like actually the first group is the Burmese group mm -hmm. from here and next is um Chinese like that yeah mm -hmm. like I think like how say like different different mm -hmm. regions people they come here they bring the new things mm -hmm. and you can see it's from the wood like yeah. to the concrete or it combined mm -hmm. with the clay or and mm -hmm. they start to use like the reinforce like concrete like i think mm -hmm. it's i think it's, it's how to say like yeah but the time pass like people they um, mm -hmm. like um keep like bring new things here 
so they change the color or make it like more tall <laughs> like that, like taller, yeah. Yeah, but 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 that is the building that you show us, right? The building you showed is the modern museum one, right? Yes. But the cafe inside this uh, modern one is 21st century. This is, could be like the 60 or 70 something. But when you want to decide something inside of the building, which is was built in 1960, 1980s, they have to change something. What the difference? What is make it more modern or what like what 21st century people do with this 20th century building? Um, okay, so as we know, like Thai traditional mm -hmm. coffee, they don't have a store like they just um car like just mm. like how say like just um look at like next to the street or mm. like in front of the market like that, but and nowadays like cafe it's have a like how say have a space have an indoor space or uh, like <clears throat> how say like uh like this cafe on the top floor like that mm. um so i think it's quite a big change from the traditional cafe in thailand mm. and also like how like how they like decorate the interior the inside space mm. like it's become too more like modern they don't use the how say, uh, uh, <laughs> like, uh, how they like, you, they don't use too much wood in the inside, like for the furniture or something. And you, so I think they use some like more than like design elements. Yeah. Like, you know, but like, they, they, like, yeah, but they keep it clean, right? They, they keep, yeah, it, they clean. keep it clean. Yeah. They keep it like minimalism. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah. minimal. It's so minimal, but not minimal style. But the installation things make it clean, make it more like a Japanese influence, uh, with uh, Finland influence something. But that is the key, right? You mentioned about space of the city. That new business need to find a new space, and then you just mentioned that they have to create interior area for people in present. So that's why this is I this is the, the, the thing that you have to mention about the physical data because they change some mm -hmm. elements. They make the window wider. They put the colors away. They make it more clean. They change the style of the cafe sections, right? And mm -hmm. and I really like you mentioned about the way that they use the building because uh in the period of the time, right? We have to connect with the car, with the transportation. So that's why we have to leave only the first floor. But right now people are seeking more, not just best accessibility, but we need beautiful view. And this view is only happened on Chiang Mai because fully the modern building with the west side view of the city. This is very Chiang Mai scenic. And most importantly, this will, this will is beyond beautiful. This is only this building can see this will. And this will is become like the famous view of steel. Once people get into the steel cafe, they didn't want to take a picture of beautiful interior, but they want to take a beautiful view, which is the interior design and the space connect with the city. So this is the will that people want to take it. This is an experience that people want to go to this cafe, right? Yeah. That's so yeah. great. That, I agree that's that. so great. That... They, I, I took this picture like, yeah, mm -hmm. when I like just came there, like, and first I just want to take this photo. Like, um, I really like the view that I choose like off this side of it. And it's quite mm -hmm. like amazing <laughs> part. Yeah. And the story that you just mentioned about like the generations of the building is all over the place in, in this view, right? This is early China, this is China, this is like colony, this is modern. We can tell the story by by the context and yeah, this is the, the, the value of the place that you could not get this value on any places, only this place. That's the key that, that we contemporary design, we know the value of their place and then we develop it, we make it more better. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, who wants to be the next one? Who's ready? Uh, maybe I can go next. Yay, yo yo. Yeah, just a minute. I need to open the file. Take your time. Yeah, I already opened it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let, 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 let me, because I'm a little bit, um, here is like, oh, share the voice. Can I see my screen now? Yeah. Yeah, let me just, okay. Yeah, where, where, why this one? Hello everyone, my name is Celia, and today I bring a presentation for you, like Sorry. Uh, the top. Here has something yeah, we, shining. Can you see that? We, okay. we can we can see your screen and we can hear you clearly from the clip. That's okay, like, I the on the architecture. And um, the house which I choose is the Remington House is located in, in the Chiang Mai sub-district. And here's the history of this house. At the beginning of this house, the owner is a Chinese, then they sell to a Thai people, like who have the, uh, their own tea company. And this place becoming a coffee shop as a tea house. Here has a, a three picture which I post here. Actually, is a businessman from the European and the, um, Thailand and the China. These three kind of the businessmen have the same point, like they're wearing. They're wearing always have their own style mixed with a European style. You can see here the suit, the hat, and they're wearing mixed with the Lana culture here. Yeah. And for this house, it's like the, mm, the nowadays picture here. You can see the surrounding space is the model style, but for this house, it's a Lana style. But when you look at its more detail, it's not only the Lana style because just I mentioned, for the owner, it had the change. They have the culture mixed together with the European. And here's the address and plan. And this house has a two floor and has their own garden. And for my presentation, it's well divided into the three place. Like the first floor's courtyard and second floors have their own room. And uh, the third one must be like uh, the construction of this house. And you can see first is the outlook of this house. Why I just said that it's mixture of this style. You can see here has a Loma column here and the arch is from the all from the European. But at the second floor, you can see this fence. The pattern is a Lana style. It's very interesting. And here's the insights. For the first part, like the style of the product in this house is quite interesting. First of all, the style from the outside and inside is quite um, quite um, similar. You can see here's like the Loma color inside and the uh, decorations is also the arch from the European as this one. And for the product from nowadays, it's like selling the portraits, but at the before the ramen tea house, so it sell teas, right? And also the tea product. And the first one I want to talk about the goes in the commercial, because I think the Thailand or the Chiang Mai, nowadays the tourism is very um, important for themselves. Um, so uh, which people want to see, it must be the, local culture of this space. So the first one they sell is like the pottery. The second one is be the coffee shop like the before and that third one is like the um, product from the London culture like the clothes. So at the before for this space, I think it's only selling the tea product. But nowadays because the tourism become um, growing fast. So the, all the popular thing in London were sell, selling in this house. And first of the door is here. I think for the display in this house, like the selling states, it's become um, from the tea to the things with the Lana culture. You can see here has a necklace from the Lana culture and the uh, clothes or some uh, earring and rings inside. But before it must be selling the tea product from nowadays, like selling the new things, which like the uh, tourists like, yeah, the jewelry. And the next one I want to uh, introduce like the second floor space, which is the biggest one. And when I came here, I think uh, there are powerful feeling like the goals of the house construction are showing here. Like for this whole house is white, right? And they just put in the pigment for um, 10 years for once on this wall, but some of these walls have didn't um, have the pigment here. You can see here, I think it's the original one. and. For this house, just I mentioned, it's a most big, uh, the biggest one. So in this house, for before, I think uh, the usage for this house maybe is for the living. Um, yeah, even can be like the bedroom from here. But now it's just selling something like um, relation have the relationship between the Lana and the culture. Yeah, 
And I think for this house, uh, the original memory is most important, but it didn't represent in this room. So it's become the ghost in this house. And next one, like uh, near the last space here is like the corner of the room. But you can see this picture, like here has a door, but something hide it. It's a business band things like a basket here, local basket, local handmade, all the things here. Um, the mention, I, uh, the, the things I mentioned here is like the lock up ghost. Why just seeing that like that? You can see totally the things are white on this wall, but inside is a, has a, a very dark space. So, um, I think this space is uh, uh, less used in this years, so they just closed down. But as before, it has been a guest room or something like the uh, um, room for uh, the owner they can live in. But nowadays, maybe just like the storage room here. Yeah, I think so. It's a pity. But the decoration here for the whole house, like here, is um, very beautiful pattern about the door. And another one is like the athletic ghost. Just as I mentioned that they are mixed culture. So there are lots of style in this house. You can see here has a lot of styles, a pattern here, but here has a lamp. This kind of lamp, I think is from the European. So at that time must be have the lots of things from European style. It's most popular from this house. Until now, you can see um, amazing mixture of these all things together. And here's the original one with the uh, uh, the last pigment on site, I think they have to pick for second time uh, one day. And I see the original color of this would have to be the light uh, brown of this one. And I think it's um, like beginning to the original one when the pigment was uh, gone. And now I want to introduce the history of the opportunity um, because for this whole house is uh, the selling space and the uh, coffee shop. The coffee shop is the main space. And for the uh, tea, for the beginning, like the Asian style, just very simple thing. But when it came to uh, the European, the black tea was being the precious thing in that time. Only the um, the people who had the relationship in the king, they can drink that or the um, people who had a lot of money can drink these things. But uh, nowadays, these things are uh, appear in the restaurants or department stores, all the things mixed with the coffee together. And now I want to introduce the two parts. Like the first part is here and second part is here. The first part is about the ghost. Um, as a topic said that the ghost for here is a material. The material is totally all the woods. I think that before one, um, whole structure can be the wood, bricks, and concrete together, mixed together, but um, wood as a beginning material for the human's building, um, it has a long time ago, but you can see here has added lots of the steel stick here. For the steel, you must have memories about the industrial revolution, right? So uh, it's had a many time between these two kinds of material. And you can see the shadow here, I think it's nowadays put in here, it's made of the, uh, the metal, yeah. It's very interesting that to see the uh, old structure to mix with the new structure together. And second picture here, you can see um, here in the mirror is a reflect the behind a shop, the coffee shop here is totally like the the European styles coffee shop. Only the pattern on here is a, um, the Lana style. And here the desk, I think it's most um, interestingly that the cover on this um, on these chairs is quietly like the clothes with to the Lana culture style. The texture on this um, cover is Lana culture style. And here I want to introduce like um, when I uh, open this door, I feel something was locked out. It can be a memory. It also can be the material. You can see the outside part is um, near the garden. So it's a nowadays space, but in this room can be a nowadays space and it also can be a, a beginning space because at the, this um, light effect make me feeling like um, must be have a lot of story in this house. But when I see the selling on this space, it's quite like, oh, it can be a nowadays space. It's like have some relationship between the nowadays and the before. And another one is most important one, I think is about the ghost of the Petal. 
in this panel, like I just draw here, at the top has a huge cover here. It's made of the steel and the glass. I think also I think after the Industrial Revolution and but before for this space, it has to be an uh, open space because a traditional courtyard in Chinese style. So um, for this space, have nothing to cover. It has the rain to get inside. And also you can see the stain here. It has to be used in the before. And for the usage of the panel, I think for the Chinese style, they just lay out the plants and gathering people for the usage of the courtyard. But you can see here nowadays, there are lots of the cell selling things um uh, the display the layout here like the decoration here just means the gathering people to here and also for the floor i'm uh, i'm interesting to that the color the color always uh, uh green blue and the light yellow like this and i have the information from here it's like the in thailand lots of the alley the corner or the uh district have this color as this one but they just use the blue the red the green the gray and the uh, yellow together i don't know why but it has must have some relationship between these but i think these two kind of the uh color to relate to the another space of these colors it has a their own feeling like oh another ghost in this house yeah so for the last one is a conclusion. And for the first ghost, I think is a uh, frame of this whole structure. The timber frame and the decoration on that is totally the London culture thing. So it can be a history from now. And second things so like the ghost too, I think is a changing usage for the people who, uh, people who living here. Like, oh, someday uh, is the owner selling them to another businessman and then will be selling another things. And the ghost three, I think, it's a remem memories in this house. I think it's a lot of memories in this house when I look in the menu from the history. Um, some people living here can be like European, can be a Chinese, can be a Thai, can be a Myanmar, and so on. And for this space, it must be have lots of memories because it's almost 100 years ago. And for the last goals, I think uh, the change I have saw in the short time because I have been there many times, so I have seen lots of changing in this house. They are selling things on all the change all the time. I think it have to be changed for a season for once. Yeah. So today you can sell in something with uh, um, the clothes and other, other hand making, but maybe in the future it will changing for new things for the tourism. So the tourism, in fact, a whole building also. Um, people usage in this building were changed by the tourism and um, only exist is uh, itself the house itself like the frame the construction so my conclusion is like um the con uh, construction goes is locked out and the usage some of them is locked out but some of them is appeared uh, for whole one a uh, whole time and for the third one is like a memory the memory also is changing all the time and for the fourth yeah, something is locked out in my memory, but something has appeared in the future. Okay, here's the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me stop sharing or... Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, Andrew Pua, you didn't put the mic on. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to put the mail on. Okay, I have a couple of topics to, to want to share with you. Um, the first one is the locations of this tea house. If you are the first generation who want to build this tea house, are you Chinese who immigrant who immigrant to, to Chiang Mai? Why you want to to build a tree house in this area, in Changmoy district? Why? What do you think? Because there have a lots of the foreigner people living here, so it's uh, quite has their efficient to trade like this. Mm, mm. Yeah, that, that they have many people there, and also like they a place for a business, right? Uh, along the Bing River and around the Shangmo district, they are well known about the business district. In the period of the time, many European, many British, also Myanmar, also Chinese people 
uh, they immigrate to China to this area a lot. So that's why they have many shrines, many Chinese temples, Chinese communities. And for the first time, the owner is China, is Chinese, right? And they moved to European one. And then right now it could be Chinese Thai or something. During the period of the time that they changed the owner, do you think they decorate more or they develop the building or not? Mm, I think uh, they didn't do too much things for this mm -hmm. building structure. Mm. But the usage is changing. I think that the usage is always changing by the owner, right? For the first generations, they want to make this tea house for the local people. I mean, for the Chinese communities, because the owner is Chinese. And Chinese people drink tea as well, but not afternoon tea. They drink tea at the uh, morning and also in the night. But Chinese people, there are plenty of this district before, but once they will move, they will change the lifestyle, they become more uh, Chinese Thai. The owner is a European, change this tea shop to be a tea house to make an afternoon tea. So that's why they change the usage, right? And today they become for two reason, but the building was changed as well, I think. Huh? Because I think the building was changed, the, 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 the design was changed as well, but not changed like 100% changing, but they changed from the wooden house to become the wooden mixed with concrete. And for now, they're making the steel, the meadows, and then they cover the pattern. Right, they're making yeah. the new, the new, the new thing. So that you can see all of the goals on these pictures. This is a facade. This is a front elevations of the building. I would like you to mention which it came from. Right, this it could be from the first generation. This could be from the European one. This could be from an, uh, the new things that we can understand. The architecture is the key. The architecture want to de deliver the concept to the user, right? But right now, how can we understand? This is a cafe for, for us because they renovated to make it more cafe, to make it more commercial. But if it, they still make it like the first generation, like when once is owned by the Chinese people, it will be more look close. It will be like the, the, the story of the tea, right? Not the open area. And once the European take down they make it more tea house for the afternoon tea they make it more european but right now they make it more tourism i think you want to uh, you have to uh, analyze on the this picture as well and i really like the, the the way that you mentioned about the goals in the in the building and also the last thing that i really like you you understand the develop of the usage through the elements <coughs> And that is the key. You can do a lot more. For if you have the job for this tree house, you can make a new thing for this tree house by making for the prison, for the prison lifestyle into it. But thank you, Yoyo. This is nice presentations. Thank you. Yep. Okay, who want to be the first one? We have Castel, we have Zoe. Uh, I can go next. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, Estelle, Estelle, hello, Estelle. Hello. Yeah. Let me share my. So last time I chose this building. Name is Xiu De Shan Tang, and this time I gonna explain the history of this area and also explain why people built this Xiu De Shan Tang here. Um, because Xiu De Shan Tang is a Chinese style uh, Buddhism temple, so my history is about China and also Thailand. So first I want to explain Ping River. 
Ping River is the main tributaries of this river and also is the main trade road um, because in the past the transportation is not like that convenience so if um, some Chinese want enter to Thailand they uh, have to buy land and uh, river so uh, Ping River is uh, one of those rivers and uh, so in this area uh, uh, Xiu De Shan Tang also near the Taipei Gate is from the 13th to the 18th century, century. and also the Pate Gate uh, has the ancient name is called City of Boots, uh, or Slip Trading Place. Uh, as these two names we know, um, Tapeke is also a main uh, business place in the past. <clears throat> uh, and uh, also, I think, because this area also near the Ping River. Yeah, maybe this is uh, one reason as well. So the main gate, the Tapi Gate, uh, through which monks and uh, traders went to enter Chiang Mai. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, so the Tapi Gate is in the center of Chiang Mai. So that's why explain Chinese start some businesses along this river and uh, around uh, the Tapi Gate. Uh, so they build the Buddhism temple here because people believed in their own beliefs in the past you know, uh, in the past, the science and the technology was not perfect. So they only uh, can believe some beliefs in order to protect their lives and property. Uh, and also they hoped they can do everything well, something like that. Uh, so, uh, this is also a reason I throw this pain river extensive political and economic exchange began between China and Thailand. Of course, it must include the uh, Buddhism community. Yeah. So this picture is three different roads. Uh, about the Buddhism. Um, so the first one is Northern Buddhism and the second one is Southern Buddhism road. So, cause I talk about, about China and uh, Thailand. So this is Southern Buddhism. So these three different roads also are three different Buddhist styles. Uh, why I mm, mention this one? Because I gonna um, talk about uh, the style of Xiu De Shan Tang. Uh, so Southern uh, Buddhism has Southern Buddhist styles. So this is Chinese Southern Buddhism temple style. Here is some uh, specialty and I put some picture here. And then this is explain why Chinese um, design the temples like this. And also this is Chiang Mai Buddhism temple styles. And uh, we can see there are so 
many points similar and also the picture also has some points similar maybe uh, uh, maybe in the past chinese um like uh they threw the pin river and church to thailand also uh communicate with the buddhism with thai people so they looks similar and uh, this is some pattern uh it's dragon because in china they that's a method called bits so this dragon is famous and also <clears throat> some buddhism temples use tiger also dragon and tiger uh, <clears throat> are important in china <clears throat> and uh, here i talk about the activities the people activities yeah so <clears throat> We can see along this river is not only Shoda Shan Teng. There are so many Buddhism temple uh, from Thailand, like Thai style uh, Buddhism temple. So it's not just Chinese temples. Uh, that's me. More locals and the foreigners live and. Uh, communicate here also not only communicate the buddhism also some business some uh, lifestyle anything so this also means nowadays everyone has every view of buddhism and uh, more uh, the words about the leaves and uh, here I show some market this is Chiang Mai market so Thai style market this is Chinese style market and also uh, some British style pub so the culture uh, is not only Thai culture, it's also combined with Chinese culture and also Western culture. And uh, I show this video. This is Xiu De Shan Tang, and we can see some rest restaurant here some Thai food, uh, Lana style hotel. Yeah, some Thai style coffee shop, some Chinese style restaurant. <clears throat> and also, yeah, some McDonald's. So we can see a complete urban center system has gradually formed here. Yeah. Yeah, that's finished. <laughs> um, thank you, Estelle. But I, I have a question. Uh, I have a couple of questions. What do you think? Like, what is the contemporary design on the architectures? Like, what is the strong character that is? make this temple look different from the Chinese Buddhism temple in China? Um, <clears throat> I think this one is, um, this is Chinese style mm -hmm. Buddhism temple, but combined with Thai style, uh, mm -hmm. just like some, um, like Chinese come here, come to Thailand and uh, so they bring some uh, Chinese Buddhism uh, here and uh, at that time in the past already combined with together the, the style. So they designed this temple already with Thai style and Chinese style. 
And and what is the Thai style that you see on the building? It's like curved uh, mm. angle and like yeah. a mountain, mm -hmm. but in China it's like more wide, wide, wider yeah. something. Yeah, they combine together. Yeah, that that's the roof, right? The roofing and the gable yes. shape of the roof. That is so Lana style. It's just low, low, local mixed with the Chinese, but the Chinese Buddhism, so it's very hard to deconstruction or redividing, but it, it come with the strong characters. But this, they have element from the local one as well. I really like how you describe the history of the, 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 the district. And for the last question that I want to talk to you, do you think like, why is still existing? Why is, uh, if it was supported by people who immigrant by the trade route in the past time, but why is still existing? Why is still look beautiful? Why is still have some money to protect it, to support it to today? I think this temple also, uh, also want to attract some like people to visit here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also need money to uh, design some new thing. So people, uh, only people visit here, only people travel here, they can get mm -hmm. some money. Mm -hmm. I think that <clears throat> that could be as well. Like they have some money from people who want to get married there or like want to pay donations there. But remember on your history, in like maybe 100 years ago, people immigrant from China, right? And they built this, they built this Buddhist, uh, Buddhism temple for making like, this is our luck to, 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 to do the business. And after that, they become a millionaire of the city. So that's why they still give the money to the temple. If, if, if I think if you know enough, like they have many buildings, they have many uh, hotel, which is owned by old Chinese who living there first, but when they get um, rich, so they like, okay, I'm the, I didn't want to live here. I can live to better places, but they still give the money for this temple because the strong connection of the generations they still have about the Chinese type. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Okay, we have two more to present. Oh, one more, Castel. I just not did that. So he just came and gone. I don't know where she is, but Castel. Uh, yes. uh, I think I can go next because now I just download the video. Yeah. Yeah, okay, thank you. You can go next. You mean yeah, like you no 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 I'm the, the video I think uh no I open it need to download. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But 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 I we I have no one left to present. Is your oh, it, my God. It, I think yeah. Zoe is coming. Her oh. we do also have some problem, but yeah. she's coming. Yeah. Oh, okay. The... So this uh so we have Zoe and Castell. So who ready first is presented? Uh okay, one minute. Yeah. But I will like that you dig dig deep on the history. Some people like like Estelle, dig deep of history, Sh uh, Sherry also, but Pim and Jojo is very interested about how they use in daily life basis. And that's nice that you don't have to, how to say that, like, you don't have to follow my topics, but you can follow yourself on the, you're interested in the building and that made you creating your own topic of uh, contemporary design in your own way as well. You don't have to creating this new style. You can creating the new lifestyle instead. Or maybe you don't have to know about uh, today, what, what is today, but you know the value of the history. So you can build up from that as well. But that's the key. Contemporary design will give you a, an idea or the key to thinking of like the design. It's just not about the style, but it's about like the history the way that they use, the story that you are buying, and that will make you 
creating contemporary design in terms of art, in terms of architecture, in terms of people interactions, better. Okay, we have Pastel and Zoe. Okay, I can share my screen and download it. That's great, Pastel. Yeah, okay. Can you see? Yeah, Tanun Santita. Yeah. Hello, Eva. Hi, Tanun. Castle, and today I choose Santita as my final topic. So let's start to explore this place. As you can see from the Google map, this is the Sentence Street. Let me start to analyze the street and the building from this map. This map shows the distribution of buildings in this area. Group of buildings are built along the street, and the red mark are the main roads in this area. Here I got a video to show the Sentence Street. So, as you can see from the video, along the street, got different kinds of the characteristic food. So, except the food also got the daily essential store provide for the local people. Like those clothes, decoration, and the hats. In my memory, there are only a few products are selling in the big market. I think these stores represent kinds of lifestyle of local people. We can see that from the selling products. So, this is the Sentinel Street. So, in this area, I choose one building to analyze the Sentinel Guest House. This street is in front of the guest house. You can see the environment around the hotel. As you can see from the street view, the tree is surrounding the whole hotel. This is the location of the hotel where it's 23 km from the city central and also 4 km from the airport. From this map, you can see where is the Sentinel guest house is right here. This is the guest house. The stair of the house was built with many woods. For the basic woods represent to the nature. The picture on left is front view of the hotel. The picture shows that there are trees around the hotel. The right one is the inside view of the hotel. And the design shows that the idea of returning to nature. Inside the hotel, there are some Buddhist display. This fine craft carving shows the local people's respect for their beliefs. After thousands of years interactions by dust, air, and environment in fact, would already got decay. It presents a model feeling to people and also shows the strong faithful of beliefs. Inside of this hotel garden's decoration is a decorative gecko on the wall. The gecko is a culturally significant in many East Asia countries. General folklore has attributed supernatural powers to the gecko. In Southeast Asia, it's a symbol of good luck and fertility. There are many beautiful scenery in this hotel. Just like the photo, because the hotel is surrounded by wood, the center from the room is like a painting. It is a secluded leisure residence. 
there are many unique corridors inside the hotel. In addition to being unique because of the cover by trees, the decoration style of the corridor is also very unique. Dark towns, wooden structures, and some Buddhist totem make the corridor full of mystery. The light in the hallway uses the warm tone, which depends the sense of mystery when entering the dark, and is not intimidating. When zooming on one of the totem in the corridor, it reminds me thinking about the traditional Chinese totem, dragon totem. They are very powerful symbols. Same as the hotel totems. Through the corridor decoration and material, this building is giving out a feeling of peace from the inside out. The climate in Thailand is very hot, and the heat can make people manic. The unique style design of this hotel allow people to gain inner peace in the hot climate. And then I want to talk about the character of the building. It's like with this building, it's like I want. Uh, I think it have the similar things like with the Chinese Station building. It's the slope of the roof, because sometimes with the perfect stress structure, it's the foundation of architectural beauty. But also, it's like different nature environment effects in front of the uh, from form of the architecture. For example, like the uh, slope roof and some of the spiral facilities, like. Like in fact, with the environment, but also like famous architecture relics use the limit of the construction technology in order to uh, express the uh, pursuit. For example, like the some the uh, pyramids and the Gothic church. And second, uh, unique design in this building is like the top of the building. Uh, the first is the climate. In fact, the Thailand is located in the tropics, so the tower shapes, high angle house structure is uh, conduct conducive to heat dissipation. And the second is the architecture style. Thailand is a Buddhist country and believes in com uh, com common as more Buddhist, and its the uh, architecture style is very deeply influenced by Buddhist architecture, such as the famous Thai grass place and other buildings are, it's like, it's very typical responsive. Okay, thank you, Kasa. Um, I, have you been there in a person? No. Uh, you, you would like to go there? Yeah, I really want to mm -hmm. go there because I think the in Thailand like have one hotel have the the style and inside mm -hmm. the decoration is very close to the China China's the uh -huh. Asian architecture. Yeah, I I think um they had they had, they had two things that I want to mention is about your works. The first one is, do you think like what is the most value? What is the most strong characteristic of this area in Santi Tham? Why Santi Tam was selected as the place to making the kind of guest house hotel like this? Uh, for one reason, it's like, well, I can say like, uh, why I still keep the straight part because I mm. want to use the straight part to contact with the hotel, like mm -hmm. uh, with, with the straight, like, in Thailand, like uh, the in fact the one element to in fact is the uh, climate. It's very mm. so hard. But this mm. the hotel, the decoration of the hotel is like I think it's like uh, can f make people find the peace in the heart. Mm. Yeah, the decoration use the yes. trees to around. Yeah. Okay, for the site selections, like I I, I really like the technique that you use from the cooking earth jump into the to the small scale but if you slow down you can mm -hmm. say like this santitam area they still have many uh green area that's mean like in the period of the time santitam area is only the agriculture field but mm -hmm. once we develop as the modern city they're making the village they're making the shop house they're making the condominiums but inside santitam still have a free place for green area for the tree so that's why many guess how many hotels 
want to locate it on Santi Town because it's near city. We can go to the city closely, easily, but inside they still have tree, land, the green area. So that's why Santi Town still have those kind of city gap, like the small houses, the land, the land which is have the green, have the tree. This is value, right? In Santi Town, also Jet Yard, also like Chang Kian. Those kind of area is nearby our school, nearby Chiang Mai University, which is like, is gonna be more modern and modern. But it's mm -hmm. modern in only the, the street, which is nearby the main street. But inside the, the gap, I, I think you have been to Lang more in Wat Umong, right? Yeah. yeah. There, in Wat Umong, they still have those kind of area, right? Small and big tree. That is the same with Santi Tam, but Santi Tam is more, covered by many tree, many streets, many new things. And the last thing, you scoping on the architectures. And you found out that it not influenced just only the Lana or modern, but it influenced from Oriental, the Asian country. Like the Kiko is also like, like Southeast Asians, the, the East Asian from China. Many things was mixed in this building. Why? Why do you think the owner, why they want to design like this? Uh, I think uh, also that like, came back to the, 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 like I just said, like the, mm. the, the, the stair of the whole hotel mm. decoration. Mm. Like the uh, first part I found inside is like, you can find some things like uh, some decoration is like, symbolize with the history some mm. history yeah but for some another part it's like also you can say about the modern thing inside mm. yeah so they want to combine the the the, the this two things the before and the, uh, the now until now mm. that, yeah that's great but can you imagine if you want to travel in chiang mai right if you if you come with your family, which is old, right? Maybe they are generation X, generation B. They want to leave the place that convenient. The the hotel, which is good car, which is they have like a towel car to pick you up. The air conditioned room, the beautiful restaurant. But for the generation Y and below, like you, you generation C, right? Generation Alpha, we don't want the convenient as the first priority. We need an experience. And if you want to visit Chiang Mai, you want to visit Chiang Mai as a real Asian kind of vibe, the location that you can see anything different from the Chiang Mai, different from the Nai Basa, different from the Iman Himin, which is not far, but you can see the street culture, see the small alley, and then boom, beautiful tree, beautiful village, and the experience is the key. So that's why, that when you design hotel, we don't need to design something that big enough, convenient, but mm -hmm. we creating experience. Yes. And that is how your hotel, your village is contemporary design. Because the way that we use hotel is not the same. We use for mm -hmm. relax, understand the city, experience the Asian cultures. And I think this could be popular for European people for sure. Before you, yeah. European people don't have such a sky, right? Thank you, Custer. Thank you, Custer. Thank you. Maybe you will become the better hotel designer in the future. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Zoe, are you ready? Yeah. You are yeah, the last sorry. one for the oh, final, really? for the finale of our class before oh. we see each other again. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next year. I don't know. Yeah. You are the finale. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start. Hello, everyone. I'm Zoe, and for my final presentation, I chose this building to explore, and it was an administration building for Chiang Mai International School, and it was located in Changwon District in uh, in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And before I go into uh, moving to the building, I I like to like talk about a little bit like history of CMIS. So it was actually established in 1954 and it was started with only a student who are um, the kids or missionaries. So um, the reason why they started this school is they want to serving uh, 
missionary families because at that time there was no English speaking school in Chiang Mai. So later on in 1958, they are moving their school to the present site, which is the building that I'm like, talking about. And um, during this almost like 70 years, like um, CMIS was aiming to serving missionary families and it's containing the heritage and the value of Christian uh, faith. But at the same time, they are uh, welcoming the children from all backgrounds with different religions and um, cultures. And the building also has a quite like interesting history. It's named like a making house. So it's owner is called like James W. Macon, I believe. And he is a um an American doctor and missionary. And he actually did a very great retribution in um missionary and medical levels in uh, Thailand. So I believe like maybe the missionary wants to remind this uh, great person. So they just moved their school to here. And then in the physical level, um, I was like um trying to find the old picture, but I think this one is definitely refurbished. And the color is in the uh, gray and brown tone. And uh, the material that they're using is definitely concrete of the columns and also the woods for some decorations like windows and also the balcony of the second floor. And also some like um, bricks to decorate and also um, the wood for the roof, I believe. And moving on, like uh, I just tried to analyze this, the different kind of like, style of this building because this building was built in 1906, which I believe is like modern things starting to develop in Thailand. And um, you can see the yellow one uh, here, oh, sorry, the yellow one, the roof and this bricks is kind of like modern things because they're starting to using like concrete, the bricks. And um, so I call it like temporary style. And also the orange one is kind of like very tight. Uh, you can see the shape of the roof and also uh, the wood texture of this windows and balcony. And uh, another like black and white one is neoclassical. They call them very obvious. And moving on, here is the figures and ground. Uh, the right point is the building located, and here is the Ping River, so it's on the right side. The community was uh, on the right side of Ping River, and um, this picture shows like later development of CMIS. So you can see like they treat this building as the face of uh, the school. Uh, it's uh, it's just directly faced to the road, you can see here, and every time like, people pass, they can very obviously see this building at the very uh, first site. And uh, later on, the building they are developed just around here, and even though um, uh, they are in different like kind of style, but you can see the color they are unified, which is kind of like um brown, gray brown, yeah. And here it's um, kind of like on the overall things. So this community, um, I believe, is full of like very strong academic atmosphere because here was not only one school. You can see here has the Prince Royals College and also like the Solana School, and um also here or like a uh, church and the temples around. So atmosphere uh, of like religions and schooling are very strong. And here is like uh, quite interesting that because I have I have the experience when I travel to uh, CMIS and I find what it's what is interesting is when the kids after school so you can see like the CMIS which is in a very relaxed um, uniform and um, which just a t-shirt and the pants and the PRC is actually a Christian school as well but you can see their dress is kind of like in tight way so when they're after school you can see like these two different kinds of like students they're wearing different uniform it's kind of like contrast with the tradition and new. So here are the um, gates like um, outside of the CMIS and it's quite like normal like they don't have like very um they are they are like uniform with the uh, outside surrounding buildings and they are seen as one and uh here is like talking in a more like bigger size bigger school like Chongmon is leaves with old and news which like we are talking about like in this lecture and um here is actually developed very well for commercial things but um, I think in this community, in C, uh, in CMIS community, I think it's full of like international and traditional feelings and things because the contrast with international school um, and like a learner school and Christian school and like uh, foreigners with local people and like different kind of like um, dress and it's so contrast, but it's kind of like um, harmonic because like um, it's the idea of like we're coming like different culture and different background, different people from all of the world is the idea of uh, CMIS, but also the idea of like Chongmon district. Um, so that's all of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Zoe. You talk speedy. <laughs> like him, <laughs> yeah. like Sorry. him, like anyone. But yes, you, you try to keep this time, not running yeah, out of yeah. this time. That's fine. But, but this this time you present more about CMIS and that that's we can dig deep to like what it came from right where, where, where the school came from and we can see like the first building of the school is the key 
It's so mix of neo classic and Thai. And this is the first time that we strike from the globalizations, right? And the first contemporary sign in Chiang Mai is could be like this, but it's challenging you more about what is contemporary design in daily life, in present. What, in your opinion, this building, right? It had to be uh, perceived for sure, because like this is the main city set on the center of the planning. Mm -hmm. This is the main important building of the school. But what do you think? We just perceive the, the outlook, that's it. Uh, what do you want to improve from understanding the, the context of the buildings, context of the culture, context of the context around the, 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 the site, do you think? I think they are perceived this building and uh, they are still like working on it right now. Mm. I think why the, the reason is because they want to contain, you know, the value of Christian, the value mm. of like uh, welcoming, like, because yeah, the, the owner of this house, it's a very great like missionary. It's quite mm -hmm. famous. And I think one hand, on the one hand, they, they want to remind these people and they want like uh, the kids in their school, you know, to remind and to, you know, to follow in the face of Christ, to have to, to heritage the value of Christian. And on the other hand, it's kind of like, because it's international school nowadays. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, uh, kind of like welcoming like different religions, different mm -hmm. background. Um, to to mix, mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, like, I think um, if we just perceive as physical things, right, the value is still on it. I mean, like the value you have to tell, the value you have to deliver to the new generations. But new generation didn't read a book anymore, didn't mm. hear this story from from the old people anymore. We yeah. have many, many, many way to perceive like the lighting design the position mapping in special event like maybe in christmas night or maybe like in the new year eve they're making the lighting to making this building beautiful or mm. projection mapping on this building to creating the story like maybe the graphic talking about the the missionaries about like the old period of the time or the skin of the building we didn't do anything about the building but we want to tell the story on the building. Mm, that yeah. that is could be the the key, or maybe like we can add on one yeah. because what one we had to keep the building which is the oldest. But why? Why is we have to keep it? The story have to be told, right? Mm. And how how we told the story into the building. This is the I think this is the 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 topic that designer had to think about the the perceiving building as well to make it more related to the new generation. And the yeah. last question, or maybe the last topic that I would like to talk to you. Yeah. Once we know the value of the building or the, the projects, like this is the main value of the, the school, mm -hmm. but how can we decide the new things? Okay, if you if you are the, 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 the dean of the school, you are the, the head of the school, you can build, you have to build up the, um, how to say like the, the work from home building, or maybe you have to creating the online classroom, the new building, what would it be look like? I think um, it's definitely gonna be like follow the time because mm. we are now like in a modern time. And mm. also with the generations now, like we're, we're in a very, you know, the information time and mm. uh, very contemporary. So I, I mean, this style must be, you know, follow the time and follow mm. the new generations, follow us like creative, full of new uh, thinkings, but we can keep something like, we can keep mm. something from the old buildings. Maybe, mm. you know, maybe the colors, maybe some mm. textures. Mm. Yeah, maybe, yes. Even the atmosphere, the feelings inside, yeah, yeah, so it's like how, how they can contain and for, you know, better future and mm -hmm. it's, yeah, I think. 
Yeah, it's great. That's a great answer. But as you can see from the the layout of the projects, right, the main the main building that you just mentioned about that this is the the key design, and mm -hmm. then the nearby building is look the same as the main one because okay, make a new one by referring the old one, so we cannot making new things, right? But yeah. if we're talking about the twenty first century, we have to dividing the value. Of the old building first, and then I would like to take or carry on just only the proportions, the color. That's it, because mm -hmm. the people will change, the technology will change. So we don't need to build up as wall bearing or the concrete. We can make the make a structure with the beautiful things right now, but we use the elements of it, and we yeah. have to define it. What is the the key design of it? Thank you. That will be the new contemporary. The contemporary is just not thick as like after World War II, but yeah, right now in World War III, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> right now that we are right now, it could be the new, the new design as contemporary idea as well. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. That's it for my class. I guess you guys received something much or less. I don't know, but I want you guys to become the better designers. And contemporary design is just not something that mixed with local. We have to understand through the period of the time. And contemporary design is related to the way that you use, the way that we live, right? Through the building. The building is just not the stick and stone or like the, 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 the figure. No, we're creating a space to connect people. And that is the key. And contemporary design is depend on you not just a style, but the way that you think to mix two concepts, to period of time, to the concept, to the people, to anything. So like you can learn more about the design. And I don't want you to feel like, oh, her, uh, so it work is interesting more than you. No, you all are different and you all are, have your own topic of the design. So find the way to design in your own way and you will become the contrary designer in your own way. Thank you for that set for my class. I hope you guys um, enjoy the class and then see you guys later and good luck for your examinations. Yeah, That's it for my class. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Nice to know you all. You, got, you guys. Nice to know yeah. you. Yeah, We're you have been, your class. You have been such a nice student to me for through the semester. Thank you, <laughs> everyone. Have a good luck. Peace out. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. See you later. See you later. You, you are welcome.